Hi everyone. So a while ago I made a vlog about a typical travel day in the life of an opera singer. However, a few things have changed since then. I now have a child and a wife and we all go everywhere together. So I thought I'd give an updated version of that travel vlog. Here it is. Oh, this is our amazing home in Mill Valley, California, where I was singing with the San Francisco Opera. And we're preparing now this whole day to fly to Dallas, Texas to work with the Dallas Opera. Mm-hmm. It's like a tornado spun through there. Oh, I miss that house. Somebody made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. I'm gonna clean it all up. And here, the hurricanes definitely come through here. All right, there's our there's our overflow bag right there. Everyone needs an overflow bag that folds up really easy. I mean this folds up into nothing, it's just a canvas bag. An overflow bag is a bag that folds up really small but expands really big so that when you travel and you buy a bunch of spices or Kleenex or diapers or all the things that are extra from your trips and you end up accumulating a bunch of stuff, that's what the overflow bag is all about. And that's our crib inside of our slumber pod tent that Cash sleeps in. Look at this thing, it's just light, it just picks up, Completely folds up into out. a tent. Cash has slept in the same bed every night of his life. It's to give him continuity for sleeping anywhere in the world we go. We have this same noise machine. It makes the same noise every night. I'll show you something else that's pretty cool we travel with. That's what we travel with here. And you just pop it up here. Automatic darkness. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Can you pack the diaper bag? I can in pack that diaper bag. bag. In the garment bag. I yeah. can pack it, yeah. Oh, or in the, let's do it in the overflow bag. I like to put my clothes inside of uh, bags. Yeah. Bags and bags. This is the best bag I ever owned right here. I'll show you what that looks like rolling around. And this is what I take on the plane with me, otherwise everything else is checked. Are you ready for the garment bag? Y'all ready for this? Look where my shoes fit in here too. Yes. Once I cannot be switched. Here's Arena's bag. It looks so organized, so much more organized. What right. time do you plan to wake up tomorrow? Uh, what time's the car coming? Eight. Eight. Seven fifty something. Oh my God! If you close this bag, I know it's always a. a I'm gonna be gonna, so impressed. Honestly, I think I'll be impressed too. It's like wrestling an alligator over here. You gotta put your knee on him, on his chompers. Make sure he doesn't bite you. I think if you grunt. <laughs> Here, I'll help. <laughs> Thanks, babe. That's just what I needed. Make sure we're under under poundage. 57.2. Now normally that's over, but for me, with status, that's under by 13 pounds. I get we get six bags at 70 pounds each. So that's a plus. Okay, honey, I think I'm mostly done. I have all of my stuff ready to go. All my morning stuff is laid out. I have all of Cash's stuff from the bedroom so he can go to sleep. What we really need to do is the kitchen, all of his stuff, his cups, his plates, his water bottles. Okay. I need his silverware, so we need to pack all of that stuff. And then we need to think about snacks for tomorrow on the flight and his lunch and dinner because those will both be on the flight. Easy peasy. So, PBJ. PBJ. All right. And I have to leave the show in 10 minutes, okay? Okay. So, what do you need to do before that? <laughs> Probably warm up a little. Well, you haven't warmed up at all? No, I warmed up. I just need to just make sure. Let me make let me do that. Okay. Let me make sure everything's on point. So here you can see Irina and I, we're a very loving couple. But on travel days and before travel days when we're packing, we're more like business associates than a married couple. And that's kind of coming across. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, Cash, are you ready for the airport? Yeah. Yeah, are you ready to go in the airplane? Yeah. So th 
this is this is an interesting dichotomy here because packing all day and, and doing all this stuff on the day of a show can be a little bit stressful. At the end of the day, I have to perform this show and then the next day fly out and that's a stressful day too. So it's tough. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much. Bye. Bye, and I'll see you in the morning. Will I see you in the morning? Will I see you in the morning for kisses? We're here on our trip. So you're gonna do your show, and then you're getting a ride home. Yes. Okay. And then I'm probably gonna go to sleep before the time you get back. Cool. Okay. All right. That's gonna be late. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um. The toiletry stuff I have to use tomorrow morning as well as tonight. I'm just gonna take a shower and everything, so I'll be done with all my shower stuff tonight. But I can pack all that up tomorrow morning when I wake up. Pack that up tomorrow when you wake up. Okay. We're good. All righty, bye, son. I love you. All right, sweetie. I love you. All right. Just got up. Had the show last night. Last show, and we're leaving today. And. uh Finishing touches on making the uh, house look nice. And of course, Serena's over cleaning. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, babe, what are we gonna take with us? Like, what foods over here are we gonna okay. take? Because we got a bunch of food. Looking cleaner in here, all right. people you want staying at your house? Yeah. Make sure well, those puzzles about, are perfect. Well, I think about if I had someone stay in my house, how would I want it? When I get back, I'd want to like feel like they respected it and they didn't trash it, like cash in all of these toys. You're I right. I think it goes a long way. Absolutely. It's kind of halfway now. I got half the stuff out there for the driver to pull in the car and the other half here. By the way, nice little technique. If you run out of room in your bag, pick it up and shake it. it. Makes everything go to the bottom. It's crunch time. We gotta get on the road, babe. Cash. Today, you are going on an airplane. You're going on an airplane and we're gonna fly in the air. It's gonna be so much fun. Are you excited? Yeah. Omar. Omar is my guy. Thank you, Omar. <laughs> Thing is, Omar was like, is that all the bags? I'm like, nope. <laughs> and he's like, I gotta redo this. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Cashy, what terminal are we? Two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you forget? My energy drink. <laughs> I'll get something without else. fail, without yeah. fail, you always forget yeah. something, right? How are we feeling? I'm sad to go, but I'm excited for the future. Yeah. Excited what to come, you know? When it's crunch time, I get yeah. exhausted afterwards. Yeah, 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 I get yeah. that. You know, this is something that's really hard for opera singers. And some people actually don't make the career because they can't take the lifestyle. A lot of people think, oh, it's just fun. You just travel from here to there and you just get to see the world. And yeah, that is a lot of fun. Oh, somebody's here. Anyway, that is a lot of fun, but it's also really hard because you're never at your home. You're never at your uh, daycare. You're never around your family. You know, it's like your opera family becomes your family for the time that you're in a, in a, in a city. And then you change it and you go on somewhere else. So it's a really difficult life. Morning. And I know some friends of mine who could be having huge careers singing everywhere and who did it for a while and then thought, I don't like this, I'd rather teach, I don't like this, I think I want to be in the chorus, I just want to be in one place all the time. It's a tough life. Oh, see this is, yeah, this is, this is reality right here. Sorry everyone, sorry you, sorry.
this is Eddie. He's fantastic. He is a saint. He's the driver for the Dallas Opera. He picks all the artists up. His wheel is off. All right, well, we're in Dallas. People's wheels are falling off in here. <laughs> anyway, we finally made it to Dallas. It's a beautiful day. God, it's hot here. It feels good. It feels good. <laughs> All right, here's Chipotle. Chipotle. Thank you, Chipotle, for very quick food. Like when you just arrive, you got to go to some place that's quick. COVID test. Because yeah. he had the. So when you put it back in, there's a little break-off point on the... On. Here you are, and tomorrow we'll have some uh, after yep. masks for you, and... Lovely. All right, this is why Eddie's the same. Oh my god. can't believe it. So when you travel with so many bags, you end up leaving things every once in a while, and I just left my son's crib at the airport. So, I gotta go and back to the airport. you have to go? He, he can't go? And he, just he doesn't it? know what he's looking for. He doesn't know what he's looking for. I just wish he could I was stay and rest. So stressed out by that. I need to stay and rest. Mm. But what can I do? I mean, I'm recording this day after this. I have to go get it. No, we'll get in his pajama and we'll we'll do everything and we'll just try to have him sleep. You just gotta adjust. You gotta roll with these punches, you know. Back from the airport. Success. It only took an hour. But I'm tired. Oh, I need to rest. Don't worry, you do great. Oh. Ooh. Hey, honey. We made it. We made it. I can't believe you went back that late. I can't believe I forgot this thing. I can't believe I. All right, I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna go shower this day off of me. Okay, have a good shower. That was really good. I feel like you really got to know us. I mean, that was a really deep dive into our personal lives on not just the travel day, but our dichotomy together as a family, you know? And uh, I'm really happy with how that turned out. And thanks for joining us. This was awesome. I'm so glad you saw this. I had fun watching it myself and uh, see you on the road. <laughs>